The stunning decision from Alabama's Supreme Court has enormous and immediate consequences for fertility care. I, I think my mind is still wrapping around all of the implications of this. In ruling that frozen embryos have the same legal status as children, Alabama's Chief Justice quoted the Bible, writing, even before birth, all human beings have the image of God, and their lives cannot be destroyed without effacing his glory. Perhaps not surprising in a state where abortion has been fully banned, and women have been threatened with prosecution if they travel for reproductive care. As I've said many times, we foster the um, culture of life and protect the sanctity of life. The court offered no clear roadmap for what is and isn't legal. At least one major hospital in the state has said they will no longer perform IVF, fearing prosecution. During IVF, multiple embryos are created. Unused embryos are typically frozen or discarded. If this fertilized egg is now a child, can we freeze them? Who is potentially criminally liable? Is it the people who created those embryos? Maybe it's the embryologist, or maybe it's somebody in the fertility clinic. We simply don't know. Fertility treatments and contraceptives are the next fight in the war on reproductive freedoms in the U.S. Abortion rights! Ever since the overturn of Roe versus Wade by the Supreme Court, conservative states have challenged the legality of other rights on the books. The results leave patients and practitioners scrambling. Where I think they might have um, not done due diligence is seeking expert opinion in understanding the ins and outs of the laws that they're creating. The ruling may be destined for the U.S. Supreme Court. Even if overturned, the state may not comply. Alabama's constitution explicitly states unborn life is entitled to legal protection. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.